In this video, we're going to talk about uh, two special sets related to functions. So we have a function f from a to b. And recall that a is called the domain. It's the set of all inputs. And b is called the codomain. All of the outputs uh, are in, in b. So if we take a, um, a subset, let's say capital X, of A, so X is a subset of A, and we look at F of the actual set. So this is the notation we use, so it's F of the set. This is equal to, okay, this is the set of all Y values such that Y is equal to F of A, uh, where little a is in capital X. Okay. This is called the image of X under F. So this is the image of X under F. And let me show you what it looks like graphically so you understand what it is. It's all of the Y values that come from X. So let me draw a picture. So here is A. This will be our domain. And then here is B. This will be our codomain. Okay, so we're looking at X. So X is a subset of A, so I'll draw it here. So this purple set here is capital X. So the purple is capital X, so I'll put a big X here. All right, so then we take an element uh, here, say a little a, and our function f sends it to an element here, which is f of a. This is the y value. So f of a, right, this is y, lives somewhere. Where does it live? Well, it lives in b, and more precisely, it lives in this other purple set. <laughs> Use the same color. This is f of capital X. So f of capital X is the set of all elements that come from big X. So it's the image, it's the image of X under F, right? It's the image of X under F. So all of these guys go in here, right? They all go in there. Let's look at an example so you see exactly how it works. A really simple example, um, which could be useful. Let's define F from the set of real numbers to the set of um, real numbers. And let's define it by f of x. Let's see what we can do to make this somewhat interesting. Um, I guess this is okay. Let's look at just x, x squared. x squared. So we know what x squared looks like, right? It's, it's, a, it's a parabola. It looks like this. This is the graph of y equals x squared. Let's look at the image of, the, let's say, I don't know, let's just pick a set. Let's do uh, the image of uh, one, no, 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 two to infinity. That's a little more interesting. Let's look at the image of this set under F. That's a two. So this will be the set, okay, of all Y values, just using the definition such that Y equals F of A, where A is in the set uh, two to infinity. Just straight up using the definition, right, very carefully using the definition. Okay, so this is equal to, okay, the set of all y values such that, let's see, so y equals f of a, just I'll show some extra work here, so f of a is a squared, so it's just y equals um, a squared, a in the set uh, to infinity. We can, we can condense this, um, we're, say, we're saying y is such that y equals a squared, we can just say a squared such that A is in the set uh, to infinity. So if you think about this, the smallest it can be is when A is 2, right? So it's going to be 4 and on. This should just be 4 to infinity, right? 4 to infinity, right? Because if A is 2, that's the smallest it can be. You'll get 4, right? Because 2 squared is equal to 4. So, so F takes uh, this set and sends it to this set, right, to that set. So if you draw a picture, let's draw a picture because it could be fun. Um, so this, this is the set of real numbers here, this, this green line. This is R. And, um, and this is the other set of real numbers here. This is R. Okay, this is the, this is the domain. It's kind of fun drawing these pictures. 
Uh, this is the uh, codomain, right, codomain. And let's draw our, our set. This is our capital X, so it's 2 to infinity. So uh, I'll put the 2 here. I'll use purple again. So 2 to infinity is here. This is 2 to infinity. And so F takes this set and sends it to uh, 4, 4 to infinity. So 4, 4 to infinity. 4 to infinity. That's 4. Right. Um, so yeah, so, so kind of a, a, a cool thing. So the image of this set under F uh, is equal to this. Uh, if you graph it in the y-axis, if you graph it in the y-axis, so let's see, so F takes this set here, so 2 to infinity, so 1, 2, so here we are, and sends it to 4 to infinity, so that would be um, 4 and up, so it would take it here. Right, it would take it here. That would be the y values. Right, those would be the y values. Um, so I hope this video uh, has been helpful. And um, the main thing is uh, this notation here. Right, so this is just the image of f under x. Um, sometimes we have to do lots of proofs with this. It's just really, really important to know the definition. So worth memorizing. That's it.